What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out Ziggurat 2. It's been a year since this game released in early access and it's about time for us to give it another perusal. I was a big fan of the first game. If you've never seen this title before, it's kind of like what would happen if you mixed Hexen with a roguelite. Uh, so effectively, you are a troop of wizards. Each wizard has like their own specializations. They have their own thing going on. Some of them are better at casting. Some of them are better at like being invisible and sneaking around. Some of them are better at just unleashing ridiculous unholy destruction. And you level them up over time as you do missions to get out of the ziggurat. So anyways, if you never played the first game, very, very good first person shooter. This one is shaping up to be very similar as well. We're going to dive on in, spend about 25 minutes with it today and see if it's something you wanted to add to your wish list or otherwise pass on. If after watching this you did want to get it for yourself, I'll have a link for you down below in the description so that you can check that on out next to my Discord, my Twitch stream where I'm live most days of the week. And then also you will find uh, my Discord, which is the central repository for my community. Let's go ahead and we will check out the campaign. Uh, we will play on... Sorry if you're new to Ziggurat or haven't played in a while. Uh, we can start on Scholar. It's midway through, dude. I don't want to cop out too hard. For centuries, a hidden wizard order has protected the whole land. Not just half of it, the whole thing. Their bravery and power are unmatched. In order to join the Brotherhood, applicants would have to survive the Ziggurat. A gigantic prison for creatures too strong to be destroyed. Over the last years, wizards performed forbidden rituals to enhance their powers, while the more traditional ones swore to protect the purity of sorcery. That's what happens when you allow pornomancers into the ranks, dude. That's what happens. Ukion the Archmage saw himself forced to stop the rituals, expelling the heretics by force. This incident was followed by many others until a civil war broke out. The whole continent trembled when the two sides would battle. The heretics close to defeat casted a fulminating spell of devastation. Reacting with the concentrated magic in the area, its power grew beyond control. The spell was so strong that it breached the ziggurat defenses. Creatures locked down in it fled towards the mainland. Most wizards lost their life or their sanity with only a few survivors. Among them Argo and Karina, two mere apprentices. With evil creatures roaming free, it has become necessary to find other wizards willing to help. And maybe with their aid, start rebuilding the ziggurat. Okay, so here we are inside the Mage Tower. I went ahead and burned through the tutorial all by my lonesome and just edited it on out. Because, like, I'm aware of the information, I know how the game works. And so anyways, we are inside the Mage Tower right now. It's comprised of a couple of different points. Uh, as we be going through the levels, we'll be getting like these magical shards over here, and you can use them to upgrade various attributes of kind of your expedition. So like you can make your heroes have more HP, you can make them get more XP, you can make them get mastery faster, uh, you can make it so that your various weapons and wands of different colors, everything is color coordinated in this game, uh, will do more damage, have more mana, so on and so forth. You can respect the points whenever you want, uh, so that's pretty cool. Inside the armory, you can go through and you can take a look at your heroes and their abilities and how many upgrades you've put on them. Uh, you can take a look over here at the weapons tree and you can take a look at all the different weapons that are available to you. Spoiler alert, there are a lot of weapons in this game. Uh, so you're going to be unlocking a lot of things. Last time I played the game, there was only like 12 weapons. Like, and then there was only like one or two bosses. Now it seems like they've been expanding the game 
pretty aggressively over the last year, which I'm happy to see. And obviously the game has this silky smooth, just amazing sort of World of Warcrafty. It almost reminds me of... God, what is... It looks so polished and good. It kind of reminds me... It kind of reminds me of Orcs Must Die, actually. That's what the game really reminds me of with its overall aesthetic. And so, like, it's a really, really good-looking game. You can tell whoever did the visual design of the game, like, definitely knows what they're doing. And they know how to make, like, a really, really clean experience. So we've got the isolated cathedral. We've got the dom We've got the demonic tower. And we've got the forgotten fortress. Obviously, it's not forgotten, dude, if we know it's there. Like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Uh, we can unlock a spell. We can unlock a staff. We can get a perk. Uh, it looks like we can get a new wand over there. I'd like to get a book, I think. Let's get a let's get a new spell. So what we'll do is we'll take Argo on in here, and we can choose what weapon we want. We've got the soul wand over here, or we can go with the spirit branch. Uh, it looks like we've got a 10% bonus to the spirit branch right there. Uh, the other stuff that we can bring is we can bring the hellish ember with us. We can bring the dwarven blunderbuss, or we can bring the frost bow with us. I'll try the book out first because I don't necessarily remember exactly what it does. Uh, we also have the mana stone on us, which recovers. 50% of our mana when we activate it and then if we get it further on and we master it it gets additional effects and so obviously like the core central gameplay loop of any roguelite is going to be like unlocking more things and making it so you've got more variety and kind of more buffs on all your gear it is a dwarven br blunderbuss though maybe I'll take the dwarven blunderbuss I'm a sucker for anything that has to do with dwarves I just can't help myself like I, I need the dwarves in my life that's what I need I require it Let's go ahead, and we'll kick it on into the mission. And there we are. Yeah, that's what the game reminds me of. The visual part of the game reminds me of Orcs Must Die, which is definitely not an insult. Like, that's absolutely kind of like a, a compliment. Um, yeah, I'll restore some mana right now. I don't really have that much. Uh, what does this little symbol mean? Does it just mean that I'm at my starting point? I think that's what it means. We need a key to get through there. So unfortunately, I can't go to that room. And like, really, that's the subdivision of the game, is you go into various rooms. Each room will have like a challenge for you, and you need to resolve that challenge. Oh, these guys have dwarven blunderbusses too. Okay, that's going to be obnoxious to dodge. Oh, my weapon does not hit that hard. Is he like an elite, like a Diablo-style elite? Man, I'm taking some damage out here. I'm having a bad time. Okay, let's... uh. Maybe pepper you guys on up. There we go. I've already, I've already taken a scuffing, dude, and it's only the first room. Picking up some XP over here from the shards and whatnot that the enemies are dropping. We got one more dude over here. I'm just going to kind of dance with him a little bit. There we go. Perfect. We didn't get a lot of mana out of this situation. Uh, I'm regretting this thing fires really, really slowly, and it doesn't hit that hard either to make up for it. Yeah, I feel like we may have made a bad wand choice. You know me. I prefer things like SMGs, miniguns, stuff that go brrr. I can't help it, man. Oh, there's spikes. Hmm. Well, this room just looks downright uninviting. It seems like one of those rooms where, unfortunately, someone doesn't want me to be in here. What does this guy do over here? What is this? I can take an oath. So, insulated factory. Lightning damage is decreased by 15%. Minions have less health. Status effects on enemies last a shorter amount of time. Okay. Sure. Why not, dude? I don't think I'm using anything that uses lightning anyways. So we'll take the falcon wings, and we'll just see if that helps us out along the way. I'm just going to try to jump across that entire pit right there. We can dash with the E key. Uh, if I press the Q key, I get a bunch of mana back. There's the key to the boss doors, so that's pretty cool. The levels are fairly expansive in this game, so keep that in mind. Uh, there's going to be lots of room to roam and get into trouble. Like, you can go for the main objective, like, as fast as you desire to do so. Or you can just kind of, like, hang back, search every single room, find all the bonuses, give yourself a much better chance of victory. Yeah, I think that's, like, an elite right there or something. Oh, I'm poisoned. Okay. Apparently that's got kind of, like, a grenade effect on it. Fair enough. I'll try to, like, curve the bullet over the top right there. I just hit the wrong button. I've been playing too many other first-person shooters lately, so, like, I'm out here just, like, reloading by muscle memory every single time I have a bullet missing. I, too, fall victim to that common first-person shooter mistake. Uh, you're dead. I would also very much like for you guys to be dead. But, man, you guys are tanky out here. Let me get some mana back. I'm going to grab everything I can from this side, and I think I'm just going to go full quake mode and just move around the room because it looks like their poison stays on the ground. 
and it's just a headache that I would rather not deal with by being stationary. Unfortunately, my damage is really lackluster right now. I would hope that if we hit all the pellets, they would die, but I don't think they're going to acquiesce to that demand. I think they're going to be a little bit weird about it. All right, well, let's grab everything we can from around here. I don't need the green mana. What I need is yellow mana. Uh, you can see the synopsis of our mana over on the right-hand side, and so we've got blue, green, and yellow, which are for various weapons, which are all color-coded. You notice how his gun's yellow? There you go. That's pretty much the entire design of the game. We did level up, so we get a perk. So we've got enemies drop more rewards, and we get more alchemy mana. That's a good idea. We can get overheal, so 30% of the unneeded healing from health potions is converted to barrier. Okay, so we can get a shield. Uh, we can get our alchemy mana pool increased and plus five health. Yeah, I'll go for the alchemy pouch. And it does look like that gave us some extra ammo too, which I'm actually like super thankful for. Is there anything else inside this area that I can get my crusty little mitts on? Listen, my mitts are always crusty, okay? I enjoy sugary confections and I'm not good at washing my hands. It's one of those things that comes up from time to time and I refuse to be judged on it, okay? I'm a, oh, apparently even if you jump over the fire, you still take the damage from it. Okay. Maybe I just didn't jump high enough. Maybe I got to work on my jumping skills, dude. I got to reinforce and fortify those ankles. Uh, we've got a health potion over here. Definitely take that because we got scuffed on the way out here. We'll go off to the right. And what if I dash? I still take the damage. Curious. I wonder how I put that out. Maybe I hit it with like an ice spell or something. All right, boys. Let's dance, fancy men. The enemies do lead you in this game, so you are going to have to juke them from time to time. That guy threw a grenade at me. I didn't expect him to be that weaponized. A little bit of XP flying around, so there's our level up. Uh, let me just kind of swap weapons. I get the distinct feeling that this is the kind of game where ammo for the weapon you actively have equipped does not drop. It feels that way to me. And I, I had a feeling, dude. I knew there was somebody behind me. Let me get that XP, though, real fast before it despawns. I actually, I'm going to do some testing here. So there's some green mana right there. Does it despawn? Let's watch, because this is going to be kind of a sticking point for me. I don't like it when the drops that come off of enemies, I don't like it when they despawn. They do indeed despawn. So that's one of those things that I'm not a massive fan of. It's like, meh, it's okay. They do give you a generous amount of time, though. I was sitting there for... Probably about 30 seconds before it despawned on me. Increase your fire rate by 5%? Absolutely. All of my weapons are slow-firing turd cannons right now, and I need them to no longer be slow-firing turd cannons. I'm being attacked by carrots. Okay. You know, I've always maintained the reason why I have bad eyesight is probably because I didn't eat my carrots when I was a kid. Oh, that's a dead end. I probably don't want to turtle up over there. Let's maybe not do that. Can you guys just do me a favor and, like, die? Actually, it does drop ammo for the weapon you actively have equipped. Good. Because I need more ammo, dude. This shotgun is the only thing keeping me back from the precipice of just getting, like, annihilated. All right. So we got to head back and find the key door. I don't think... Oh, we got another enemy room. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's bad guys around. There's bad guys around, and they must be dealt with. Oh, that guy's like, oh my god. Okay, don't like that. Yeah, I don't think I want to deal with any of you guys. But you really seem to be forcing the issue out here, so... Let's go back to the wand real quick. We've got, like, limited cover right now from their grenade launchers. And if I can get a little bit ma more mana for yellow, we can jump back in on, like, an actual weapon that's going to be useful here. We got more nades coming in from this side. Okay. This is definitely like our Saturday, Saturday night special holdout weapon. This weapon is not meant to be used long term. All right, back on the shotgun. Even though we carry very little ammo for it. Hey, we hit level four though. I'll take that. Ooh, there's a nice little cover nook over here. Hey, we got a little bit of yellow ammo right there off that guy. Very nice. Okay, so let's keep on firing. Get the elite down. I feel like there's something chasing me. I keep hearing like a sound effect from like behind me. 
There we go. Soundtrack sounds pretty good. I'm actually pretty happy with the way the music kind of like booms and has like some intensity to it. We've got another perk to play around with here. We can increase our mana pool for alchemy by 40. Or we can get a new amulet. If you already had one, it will be consumed and you get an additional perk. Sure. Cool, man. Sounds good to me. I want to try out a new amulet. We've also got black market. Lose a weapon, get 12 points of shield in exchange. When defeating an enemy, your siphon cooldown is reduced. And we've got training. Rem improve a perk by two levels. Earn one of that level. Sure, why not, dude? Uh, make my alchemy pouch even more beefier, dude. I need my, my alchemy sack needs to be girthy so that when all the other wizards see me just cruising around the wizard block, they'll be like, oof, that's a beefy sack right there. I'm like, you know it. It's full of reagents. Ah, we have found ourselves. Oh, he's got a skull mask, dude. She's got a skull mask. I want a skull mask. How come I don't have a skull mask with sweet horns on it? Uh oh, I'm being chased by like a spectral blade. Oh, I'm being chased by many spectral blades here. The hell is that thing? Let's kill it. Okay, it is officially dead. I might have to use my last mana charge here. Oh, it only works on the weapon you actively have out. I thought it worked for like all the weapons that you own. Yep, I would rather not get hit by that. Thank you for the proposition, though. I realize my mana is a little iffy right now. I promise you, it's not by choice. I would love for my mana to not be iffy. Alas, here we are. Got him on the ankle, dude. That was kind of a weird little flicky. It was like a flicky, but it was like a low flicky. Like it was a flicky that needed some directional coordination. I don't think we're getting the job done here. I need like some AOE or like some grenades or something. That's what I need. Wow, these guys are beefy. These guys got a chin on them. I'll be honest with you, I regret all of my decisions. Everything I have ever done in my life is a massive, disgusting mistake. It's okay though, we just gotta like dial it in, man. Oh, I'm like out of mana. Okay, this is where this is gonna get gnarly. Oh, and there's the AoE. <laughs> They don't even gotta hit you, they just gotta get like near you. They've just gotta be like in the vicinity of your dome piece. Unfortunately, the isolated cathedral has decided to remain isolated and your boy got starched. Uh, we got an insight though, so we can like upgrade something. It looks like I can level up weapons too. Uh, yeah, we'll complete it. Uh, we've only got the one thing, so like maybe we'll sit on it for a minute. Oh, I, ac I think I accidentally increased mana of all categories by 2%. That's fine. I'll take that. Let's go back over to the map room, and we'll try out some new weapons real fast. We'll go with something that's, like, a little bit simpler, because that one absolutely took a dookie on my face. Uh, let's see. We can get a new staff over here. Yeah, let's go for this one right here. That sounds good. I'm going to try out that one this time around, and then we're going to try out... Let's go for the Eye of Twilight this time. See how that goes. Put some Robert Pattinson on our lives. Robert Pattinson, kind of underrated, dude. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I heard that Robert Pattinson was going to be Batman, and I was, like, against it. I was like, no, dude, I don't like this idea of Batman. But actually, I went back and I watched, like, all the art films and stuff that he's been doing ever since Twilight, and he's actually pretty good. Dude actually has solid range. Kind of underrated, in all honesty. I feel like he just had the bad luck of, like, being, well, I guess he chose to do it. But anyways... Like, Twilight sort of convinced everybody that he's, like, stiff and doesn't know how to act. And, like, honestly, if you go watch his other stuff, like Rover or, like, Good Time or, you know, The Lighthouse, not bad. Not bad. All right, all right, all right. I'm just going to kind of accumulate some mana here. Okay, I know exactly where I'm going to be putting all of my first stuff. That's a dead end, so maybe I don't want to be there. Uh, these skull guys are really causing problems for me. Alright, let's break out the real blicky. Ooh, there it is. 
Okay. All right. We got the we got the rapid fire now. Splatty know what he like. Can I have some manas though, dude? I don't know what my R key does. I gotta figure out what my R key does. This feels important to me. Hey, we leveled up though, so that's good. Uh, let me go back over to my wand. Where are the other enemies at? Oh, they're trying to catch up with me. Okay. So we were just like waging a massive intifada on this side, and there's still like a bunch of enemies left. Somewhere? Somewhere inside the dungeon, there'll be bad guys. There they are. All right, bad guys, I'm gonna need y'all to sit down. I'm gonna have you all sit down and just sort of chill, relax, and just, you know, make yourselves comfortable. I'm gonna be a cheese lord right here. Like, yes, I do realize that I'm shooting that guy, like, entirely in the ween. Yes, I do feel guilty about it. I don't feel like a good person right now. Uh, so recover 5% of your health. We can get more staff mana right there. Oh, so your dropped rewards are absorbed at 25% effectiveness, but they don't time out any longer. Ooh, 15% one fire rate. Yeah, let's do that. 15% one fire rate, dude. We do have alternate fire, too, that's going to be available on our right click. So we can, like, gangster fire our one burst fire mode, just in case we want to get that extra dock out. I do like that, but it seems to be kind of hard on my mana. Oh, he dropped poison all over the place. Oh, I don't like that either. Please die. Thank you. Okay, let me let me clear out my nook over here. Because I feel very, very unsafe. I just, I need to find a spot where things are going to be all right. I'm going to go with my speedy boost real fast. Speedy boost. Get down to the edge of the map. Kill some stuff. Was there a guy on my right? I can't tell. Well, there's some green man over here, so I'm going to do something really, really risky in order to get after it. I probably shouldn't run through the midst of the enemies like that, but like, eh, you know. Ow, I've been hit with a grenade. Somehow, miraculously, I have taken zero damage during this experience, owing that factor entirely just to my, just to my barrier. I can finish this sentence. I can finish this sentence. All right, so let's get the real Daka out here. Or I guess the real Pew Pew. Down with you. Yes, down with the floaty witch ladies. Y'all gotta go. I just, I disagree with who you are and the way you conduct yourself, and I think you're just the worst. There we go. I like how the health bars right there, they have kind of like that chunking, uh, where it gives it like a different shading, which slowly slides down, sort of Street Fighter style. I dig that. Um, I don't really need recover 10% of your man at the start of a fight. Yup, let's do that. I'm guessing that my R ability is a siphon, and that it probably pulls mana out of enemies, maybe, if I have like close proximity to them. I don't know. I keep seeing perks that make my siphon better, so I'm going to guess that that's what it does. Uh, I only have two coins with a hole in them right now, so unfortunately I can't afford anything inside the shop. This economy, man, this wizard economy in light of the Civil War has just been filthy. It has been awful. There's no houses, dude. All the paychecks are way too low. You kill like a thousand monsters and you get paid like five nickels. Five nickels and a pat on the back. I definitely need that mana right there. Well, I can't decide what my R does. I ran up on that guy with the intent of finding out what my R does. And unfortunately, I'm still left mostly in the dark as to what my R does. I know what my Q does. It makes me run super de duperty fast. It gives me the old uh, coffee infusion, the old caffeine enema. But uh, I don't know what my R key does. Yeah, we just burst fire everybody out here. That's that's how I'm choosing to live my life now. I would like to see shots register headshots and whatnot. It's kind of weird that they don't. Like, I don't think that we get any type of, like, bonus for headshots. Wait for my mana to come back, and then we'll re-engage. I need you to go, though. Hey, I picked up a little a little barrier thing, a little a little spirit barrier thing. All right, get him with the snipies. Still no mana to be had. 
I got like a little bit of green, but a little bit of green ain't gonna do it. I need like an entire meter of green if we're gonna sit. What hit me? Something hit me from behind. What hit me? Oh, it's you. Get out of here, you weird floating cabeza. Get out of here. All right, so we've got like blue mana. Uh, dude, I didn't get any green manas. Trying to get my mananas out here. Hey, staff mana pool increased by 20%. Let's do it. Um, I don't have like a, I don't have like a key to that door. And until we have a key to that door, I don't feel like this is gonna go. Yeah, let's just open up strong here at the beginning. What is the alt fire on the staff? I plan on inv. Ooh, okay, all right. Alt fire on the staff is like some mega bullets. I like mega bullets. Sir, can you die please? Thank you. Thank you for the mana though. I appreciate your contribution to my continued blasting. Another coin. So I've got eight coins now. I wonder if I bring the coins back with me after like a dub, if I get anything for that. Uh, this room looks suspicious, but apparently it's just like empty, I guess. Okay. It's empty like my heart and soul. And there's the key to the boss dungeon. So we'll grab that. I'd like to get a little bit more mana before we attempt the boss. But, oh, how do I get up there? Oh, there's a jumpy pad. Sweet. All right, jumpy pad away. Oh, it's a boobity trap room. What happens in the boobity trap room? Oh my, okay, that almost went poorly. Hey, boobity trap room, give me a chest. Uh, we got some coins and we got the hellish ember. Okay, so it's kind of like a, a fire shotgun, gotcha. Oh, I like that. Okay, that's basically Dragon Ball Z. I'm, I'm totally fine with that. Is there a teleporter that like takes me back? There we go, that's good game design. You love to see it. Let's go smoke this boss now that I've got like a better weapon. I'm beginning to think that like success, so like I feel like I'm losing because I run out of mana for the guns that are worth using. That's what I feel like. And so I feel like having a larger selection of just daka 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 is like a really, really good idea. Let's unlock this thing, throw a key on in it. Love that they animated the hand right there actually doing it instead of just breaking the seal. It's you again. All right. If it's going to be you, it's going to be you. Let's do this thing. I don't know if I'm like actively better prepared this time. I'm going to break out the old whooping stick here. Oh, it looks like there's damage fall off too. Okay. Well, that's probably a good thing to be aware of. Uh, I'm gonna kill you. Come on. Die, please. Thank you. Yeah, I've actually got like real weapons this time around so I can, I can stay on top of the ads. I think that's where we ran into problems with the blunderbuss. All right, just keep firing. We got her. We got her. Things are looking real, real good right now. A little bit more mana right there. She's firing from this back corner. I would like to have like a little mini map that shows enemy positions as like red dots or whatever, but I understand if they don't want to do that. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's getting a little hot and spicy in here. I was gonna do the big bullets, but man, it is. There is a lot going on right now. If you could just like stop teleporting away and making my life an ever loving hell, that would be great. Where are you? Hey, and we got her. All of her ads fell down when we killed her, too. Thank God. All right, so health potions. Yeah, wizards like health potions. Let's go ahead and grab this stuff. We got a perk. I don't know if we need it, but you know what? Let's level up that staff mana pool. And is that like... Are we out of here? Hey, okay. So apparently we defeated the first floor of the first dungeon because I'm just proficient like that. It only took me two tries. So what did I unlock? Did I unlock anything like rad? Was it the book? Is that what I unlocked? Ah, 
there's another dungeon. Okay, so what are they gonna give me right here? A frost bow. Okay, so it's got like a grenade launcher and it's got like a normal snipe shot. I could definitely use that, so I'm just gonna take it and not question it. And now that our spells are all ready to rock, I think we are just about out of time. But that's really the core rotation of the game, dude. That's pretty much the core rotation of the game. Go into dungeon, find weapons, do hex and stuff, uh, find more weapons, get currency for winning, and then, of course, bring it back, upgrade all your stuff, and use that to progress further on into the game. Uh, I like this game. I like this game a lot. I think it's, like, super fun, and, like, it's been really exciting checking out the game after not playing it for a year, because I was a really big fan of the first game, and so, like, honestly, I've been waiting for this one to fill out. I kind of felt like the last time that they released it a wee bit early. Like, it wasn't quite ready yet. Not in terms of, like, quality, because I feel like the graphics, and I feel like the detonations, and, like, the presentation, and the enemies were all well designed. But, like, when I played it last, there was only one boss in the game. Like, there wasn't a whole lot to work with there, and you kind of just repeatedly did dungeons and, like, upgraded the couple weapons that were in the game and did the same boss over and over and over again. And so I was like, all right, I was a little bummed out. But now after kind of putting it on the back burner for a year, it looks like the content is starting to get there, which pleases me. So I may actually stream this one if you wanted to check it out in further depth, uh, because obviously sometimes 30 minutes is not enough to really get, like, a full idea of the game. During that time, you're more than welcome to join me and ask whatever questions you may have on hand and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, but my name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. Tail up on the chopping block. We had Ziggurat 2. Tomorrow we will very likely have something else. Thank you for hanging out with me in the wonderful world of indie games and that's all I got. Bye-bye.